I'm ready, so I just watched the Monaco Grand Prix. Actually, to be honest, I didn't even get to watch it. I was at the most event, and for some reason it just wouldn't load. I had Wi-Fi, just that it wouldn't load, so I couldn't watch it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad I didn't. So I said it was a pretty boring race. I watched the highlights. I'm honestly surprised that they made the highlights so long. Because literally nothing went on in that race. I'm kind of surprised that they made it so long. Well, that's kind of ridiculous how long they made it. But yeah, to start, we had a big crash immediately between Checo and both Hasses. Checo should not have been down there anyways. I, it was Magnuson's fault. I don't know why he didn't get two points and get banned from, for Canada. But, Checo really shouldn't have been there anyways, because he should have qualified higher. But things do happen. And we have signs getting a punch immediately, and that's basically it that happened that week. But I don't care, Max didn't win. Sean Leclerc finally broke the Monaco curse and won the race. With Piastri second, signed third. Sainz was lucky to be third. Because after the red flag, they put him back third, so he was lucky. So we had Lando, then George in fifth, Verstappen in sixth, Hamilton seventh, Sinoda in eighth, Albon getting Williams first point for the season, and Gasly getting another point for LP. So yeah, the whole top ten finished where they started. That just tells you that a race is boring. Either, either a race, the race is boring, or, it, or we didn't even have a race at all. I'm pretty sure in Spa 2021, we didn't ever have that. But yeah, what happened when he came 6, which there was no passing, so... Okay, from what I heard, the safety car basically made it like a zero stop race. I mean, the red flag. But yeah, um, this might be one that I don't even have to do drive a race on because nothing really changed. It's kind of one of those races that I wish they didn't watch. It would have felt, felt like a weird race to watch because it wasn't really any racing at all. I'm very glad that I didn't watch it. I don't really think they should change Monaco or something. But hey, that doesn't matter because we have Canada next. So nothing I said now matters anyways. Or so it's like so. Yeah, biggest winner, Yuki Sonoda. No, I don't want to say Alex Albon. Dirt, William the back in eighth. Just somehow with this result, they propelled themselves from looking like the car that won't score any points. And they did get lucky. Aston, by the way, did not score any points. Sucks to be an Aston fan right now. Because Re uh, Marisa Bolt is kind of catching up. And Pierre Gatsby getting the point. Although his teammate tried to mount him in the first lap. 